Hey Trader, TG Watkins here, and it is uh, February 3rd, uh, 2022. Welcome to this week's kind of market insight through the lens of the Moxie indicator. So um, normally I have the camera on and looking at you guys talking to you, but I just got back from skiing up on Mount Stevens in uh, you know, Seattle area, and I am, I am a mess with my hair, so I figure I'll just keep that off and uh, save you. But, um, you know, I think that's uh, talk about skiing and stuff like that. I think that's one of the draws of why we come to the market is because we want to be able to have the flexibility like this. You know, if our positions are set, we got our stop losses, you know, something like that. You know, if we feel like we can step away from the market, we can. That's the that's the benefit of being here. We don't have a boss. We can choose when to be in or out of the market. And I knew that for what I had going today was going to be a fine day uh, any way that it went. For my positions and it actually worked out really well for us today so it was a, a nice green day actually on the short side so yeah that's been nice um but uh you got to take some time away enjoy it you know going up uh, skiing on a thursday means there's not a whole lot of lines and it was great we could actually get a lot of uh, ski ski runs in with my wife and my brother-in-law and his friend so let's dive into this um, profitpilot.com is where you guys can find more information about me if you're interested i write a newsletter here and Really, I think this one for anybody who is maybe a little bit new to the market or, you know, just finding themselves that, you know, now that the bull market is over for the moment, you know, we're kind of getting some corrections out there. Uh, just kind of take take um, take stock of where your mental capacity is at and how you're doing. And if you get some decision fatigue because the market is all over the place, it's kind of crazy. So if you're kind of read read this uh, blog, this newsletter, and if it kind of resonates with you then maybe kind of understand where you need to go and you can practice, you can paper trade, you can sit it out, you know, anything like that. Just make sure that your account is okay. and Make sure that you're staying uh, safe out there. All right. So let's come over here to the market itself and we're looking at the S and P and yeah, it is all over the place, but I think I've been doing a fairly good job talking to my subscribers uh, about what is going on here. And I pretty much called this top right in through there on the S and P. Um, you know, based on my patterns, I was definitely expecting price at some point to get back down to the hourly 50. Um, now that it's there, I, I do kind of expect some more back and forth in through here. And um, but yeah, today's pullback totally made sense. I, I think the news or the reason that it's down is because of Facebook. <laughs> we'll, we'll go talk about that a little bit further. But, you know, what I look at is leg, heel, arch of the foot. So, you know, I, I was looking at that based on my pattern. I said, hey, you know, this thing, this is a pretty nice bounce. Been doing that for, what, three, four days. Uh, we're going to get a pullback. So today is that pullback. You know, um, I think I think in the overnight, the market is back up again because of Amazon earnings. So uh, as I said, this market is pretty nutty right now. But that's pretty much to be expected because we are in between these two moving averages. And we're also between these two moving averages. So essentially, you could say we're going sideways and down on the lower time frames. We're bouncing back and forth quite a bit. I think ultimately we're going to resolve to the downside. I think we have much more downside to come. And I think this is a transition period. I think right in here is transition uh, until we go lower. So you know, however that affects your trading and what you're looking at, you know, just be prepared for something like that. I don't think we're, I don't think this is a bottom. I don't think that we're going to go up like that. So um, you know, of course I could always be wrong, but that's kind of what I'm seeing out here. I think that this is uh, just transitioning in through here until we eventually go lower. So that is my take on the S&P. And then, you know, if we look at the NASDAQ, it's going to be basically the same thing. And um, yeah, I just I'm looking at this saying I think this is going to generally resolve lower because uh, we're looking pretty heavy. You know, it's just looking pretty heavy out there. And then the IWM for the IWM, I think we're trending sideways. I think this is just a, a bear flag. You know, however this thing is going to move, you know, day to day, it's going to be a little bit noisy. You can see on the weekly chart to get a little oversold at the weekly third ATR. But I think that it's basically going to go sideways until it resolves lower. I just don't see a reason why this thing is uh, really going to resume an uptrend. Even if it bounces, I don't care. Even if it bounces, I don't think that this is a, you know, bottom. And I don't think we're going to start trending up and we're going to be all good again. I don't think that's happening. So this is just a resting area until price goes lower. However it wants to do it, it's kind of like this. It's just a resting area until price goes lower. That's really what I'm looking at. Because part of the thing is, if you look left, where is price? It's just in the middle, <laughs> you know? It's just in the middle. 
the, the, like what what is the reason that price is here? There's really not much reason. Just that it got a little oversold, ran into some third ATRs, uh, maybe ran into some moving averages, like whatever. But there's just really, you know, fundamentally, there's just no reason for price to stop here. I bet it's going to keep going down there. So uh, the IWM is definitely the weakest. I think it has been leading the way. And not that the small caps are um, bringing the big caps down, but the market's going to be trending together. This one's just done it first. So that's kind of my view, uh, the overall view of what's happening out there. Now, let's go talk about some of the craziness that we have been seeing with this earnings season. Now, here's Google, and they had earnings, well, obviously earnings, and they said also within their earnings that they're going to do a 20 to 1 split. So basically, you know, at $3,000, that makes it $150. Now, this isn't happening until June, fine. And usually news of a stock split really makes the stock go up, clearly. But I don't think this is a sustainable move. I don't think the market is in the right condition. So uh, I don't think this is, I don't think this has legs. I think this, you know, kind of eventually comes back down. Maybe it holds up better than some of the other stocks, but I don't think that news alone is going to be what really propels this thing to new highs yet. It has to be with market support. And right now, I don't think Google is going to be able to buck the trend. The other thing to talk about, as far as the Moxie indicator goes, and why I also think that this is not going to hold up, is because if you look back here, this has been price over the daily 50 SMA, but the Moxie indicator has been below zero. That is an inverse trampling move. That is telling me the Moxie indicator is below zero. It's negative. Price should not be over the 50 if the indicator is below zero. If you guys don't have the Moxie indicator, it's stuff like this that makes it just so valuable. And if you look here on even the hourly chart, you know, again, earnings or, you know, Trump, the news trumps charts, um, earnings news, anything like that. It just trumps all the charts, all the technical analysis. But before that, leading up to that, this was yet again another inverse trampoline move. You guys see how it's the same exact pattern? Same exact pattern. Price over the 50, Moxie indicator below zero. That is a false long. If anything, it's a good short if it's in the right condition. And so that was telling me that that price was not going to be up there and it's actually like a, a short the bounce type situation. So yeah. Uh, and then if we kind of look at this currently of why I also think that this isn't going to last is well, again, price over the daily 50, but look how far below zero the Moxie indicator is. It's just not going to work. So it's going to need a lot of work and a lot of time before price can go up again. Um, on the same time, we had AMD do its earnings. And um, I was actually telling my subscribers, I said, this is where it opened overnight. Like you could see in the overnight that it was right up there. So that's shortable. Based on my patterns, that's shortable. Because this is basically the same thing as that. Based on my patterns, you know, the elf shoe pattern and all that. And also... Um, that's just, yeah, that's the, that's the arch of the foot and it's not going to last. So that was a, an improper move to the upside. And I think eventually it's shortable, like price kind of holding a hair. I bet you anything it's going to resolve lower. So, um, don't, I, I was actually, I was, I had, um, not a subscriber, but another trader when I was on Facebook, YouTube the other day and, you know, people ask questions and like to tune in. I love talking to them, but he's like, Hey, you know, they had really good earnings. You know, they're a great company and they have, you know, they're doing well. Their fundamentals are awesome. I was like, yeah, that's, that's cool. Doesn't matter right now. It, it just does not matter right now. When the market is correcting, it doesn't matter how good of a company it is. It's going to go down. You know, the, the stock value really is relative. You know, I don't care how good the company is. If the market is going down, if money is coming out of the market, these things are just not, they're not going to hold up. They will maybe go down less but they're not going to be able to really go up in a situation like this. Interest rates are going up, quantitative tightening is happening, and uh, something like AMD where they're tech, they're just, uh, they're getting reevaluated, they're getting repriced. So nothing that has anything to do with the company, it's just a matter of the stock and price uh, and what's going on with the market itself. So um, I know it's a great company, just don't be lured into something like that thinking you're buying on fundamentals, because right now the fundamentals don't matter. They might later, but right now they don't matter. All right. And then if we look at Facebook, ooh, yeah, how was that? How was that for spicy? So it was very interesting. I was talking about this in our, our simpler trading options room. And of course, earnings, you 
know, earnings, anything happens on earnings. But I was telling them that based on my patterns, if earnings wasn't the next day, I was telling them, I said, this is a short right there. This is a short right there. <laughs> Little did I know that uh, the earnings totally confirmed that. But this is the same reason. If you look at this, this and this is exactly the same reason of why I said the S&P and the NASDAQ were shorts yesterday. I said, that's the top of the bounce. It's running right into overhead resistance. It's got my 5250, 5250 maneuver. It's got the elf shoe maneuver, all that stuff. I said, this is a short. That's it. And, uh, the, you know, but, but earnings, you know, could, it could have popped on earnings, anything like that. It just happened that the technicals actually lined up with whatever the earnings report was going to do. But uh, that was pretty interesting. Holy cow, what a big move to the downside, like what, 25%, I think it was. So yeah, I think that was the major thing of what dragged the markets down, at least based on that. So then we go, let me show you Apple real quick. So Apple, uh, I also think is a short, because if you look at the hourly chart, same thing. This is the top of my 5250 maneuver. And if you look at here, we're getting the Moxie price trigger on the daily chart. Like this, this, that was the bounce. Now we short the bounce. I think this is basically a shortable area. So right in here, I think that is a shortable area. So um, don't let these big bounces mislead you. I think that this is basically starting to roll over. So do be careful about that and make sure you're on, on the right side of the trade if something like that, in fact, is happening. So then we come over to uh, Amazon. Let me check and see. Because uh, Amazon is up or 31.72, so like 31.72, yeah, it's way up here. Now, that's cool. Um, I don't have too much to say about this, except you know, news is going to do whatever it's going to do. Um, you could say there's a double bottom there, double bottom, positive divergence. But again, news, like whatever it's going to do on news, I personally think that this is going to continue to be noise. And yes, it's bouncing, what? up around there, I think ultimately this is going to get sold into. Uh, part of my reasoning for that is, well, you know, 3172, as I said, was like right there. Uh, well, where's the daily 50? It's com it's coming up there, right? It's coming up there. Where do you think the daily 50 is going to go? So the daily 50 looks like it's going to be resistance, and it looks to me like price just bounced right into resistance. How about the hourly 200? So what, 3172? Where is the hourly 200? Right there. What has been resistance so far this entire time? The hourly 200, along with the daily 50. So I have a feeling that price is really just bouncing up into resistance. And so, you know, take take that for what it is. If you guys want to, you know, maybe find, find a trade now. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to roll over tomorrow. There might still be some upward momentum. It could, you know, whatever. You got to use your tools and your rules. Look at the lower time frames. Figure out when, you know, the exhaustion happens. But I do think that it's basically bouncing up into resistance. So, and then another crazy one, Snapchat, uh, apparently coming back from the dead a little bit, which when you compare it to, gosh, names like PayPal and Square, which we'll talk about a little bit too. Uh, yeah, so this is why earnings can be kind of a little bit of a roulette because what, it's up to $39 so right there. And $39 right there. So pretty big bounce, pretty big bounce. And it, you could say it's a little oversold right in through there. Um, this one would have been real tough, really, really tough. I mean, I, I personally, I don't see that there is any reason to be trying to trade this unless you're specifically trying to trade it based on, I don't know, earnings and whatever you do about iron condors or stuff like that. I'm not much of an options trader. And uh, as far as trying to play, you know, like earnings roulette, um, definitely not my territory. So, um, boy, like how, how would you have ever thought with, with the price basically falling apart, going into earnings, who would have ever guessed that this thing is going to bounce up like that? So basically earnings roulette, not something I would be uh, interested in trading. You know, again, maybe it's because it was oversold, but I'll show you PayPal. PayPal was about the same situation, like super oversold and it went down on earnings. So I, I think right now trying to play earnings is just a, a wild card. Um, I'm sure Snapchat was down on Facebook in sympathy, but then somehow it pops up. Now, again, there is there is an argument to be made that this might just be a, a shortable bounce. So keep that in mind. It's right here at the underside of a very downtrending daily 50. And it's opening up right here at the underside of the hourly 200, which has proven to be resistance before. 
Um, so that could happen. It could also just chop around for a little bit. Um, yeah, you gotta, we're in some special times right now with, with some of these names. And then Spotify had earnings and look what it did. It went down on earnings. <laughs> so yeah, good luck out there. Uh, good luck trying to play these earnings. Um, again, right into some upper resistance again, like this upper resistance likely to pull back and then down on earnings, all that kind of stuff. So if we look here at Spotify, you can see that there was a level in here and then price basically got rejected by the well, underside of a downtrending weekly 50. And that was an inverse trampoline move. price should not be over the 50 if the MOX indicator is below zero. So that was, that was a false move up. And then that continued that bear flag. And then it finally broke. And then you can see here, there was that bear flag and it continued to get rejected by the underside of the daily 50, which the MOXIE indicator was totally confirming because the MOXIE indicator was just falling off of a cliff. I mean, look how red that thing is and just going straight down. Um, yeah, so just a whole lot of negativity out there. And this is part of why I think that the, the market just can't, I just, it just can't hold up. You know, um, I know that there could probably be some arguments saying like, yeah, everything is so trashed. It can't go down any further. And so it's hammering out at the bottom and now it's going to turn around. I just don't think it's there yet. I think there's a lot more damage done than there is to say that we're over it and we're going to start turning around. So yeah, PayPal, we look at this, you know, again, uh, kind of like snap, you, you think, well, crap, you know, how much shorter can, how much lower can this go? It can go lower. Let me just tell you that St price can always go lower. It may not, but it can. So if that's a problem for you and your account and whatever your position is, just understand price can always go lower. When people want out, they just get out. They hit the eject button and it could be, you know, people just don't care. If they're losing money. They're getting out and nobody wants to buy this. Like, again, I don't know why Snapchat's up, you know, based on whatever their earnings were, but like nobody wants to touch this. Nobody is looking at this and saying, oh yeah, there's a good buy. You know, not until some people with like deep pockets come in and start doing what they're doing over at Baba and Baidu where they just think like, okay, you know, it's been going down for the last what year, two years, something like that. And like, yeah, now it's at an area where I think it's value. And they've got millions and billions of dollars where they can just start building a position. And then they're going to hang on to it. I don't know, two, three, five, ten 10 years. And they're like, fine with it. That's not our game. That is not what we're up to. We don't have the time value of money to be able to put something in here and just say, yeah, you know, this is pretty low. It's at a good value. I'm going to hang on to it. And, you know, I don't care what it does over the next, you know, two years, as long as it's up here uh, in the next 10 years, I'm good. We can't operate in that way. That's, that's not how we work. So this is basically untouchable. Same thing with Snapchat, same thing with Facebook. This stuff is untouchable unless you're trying to short it because uh, it, it's just not, it's just not working out. So stay away from this stuff uh, unless you have the correct direction. You know, square, like, look at this, um, just falling off a cliff. It, it looks like it is basically heading back to where it came from. It doesn't even care that the weekly 200 is right there. Now, again, maybe these things are getting oversold. Maybe they're going to snap back at some point, but I don't see anything that tells me that, that that's going to happen yet. This stuff, it, it just, look at that, just toxic. So unless you are taking shorts on these bounces, there's nothing to do here. Just, just stay away for a while until everything sorts itself back out. Um, yeah, so there's kind of that. And then, uh, you know, Microsoft, you know, I think Microsoft is probably going to go lower at some point. You know, it looks just like the indexes. Same thing I was saying, like, this is, the, that's the end of the bounce. That's the end of the bounce right up into the underside of the, um, week, uh, hourly 200, that kind of stuff. This is at the arch of the foot based on my elf shoe pattern. You know, look at the moxie indicator. It is so far below zero that even if you thought this thing was going to go up, it's got a ton of work to do. It's got an absolute ton of work to do before the Moxie indicator can get back up here. I mean, just look at this. How long has the Moxie indicator been trending below zero? Do you see how long that's taken? How long is it then going to take to get back up there? So we have a lot of work to do in order for this thing to even consider going back up. So that's why I'm like, I don't think this is going to happen. Um, this stuff is really, really negative. The Moxie indicator, I mean, look how low that Moxie indicator is. It's super low. So I do think that there's going to be some more downside. Uh, careful about these bounces, thinking that, um, you know, it's good news. Like, oh, yeah, we can get into it. Uh, you know, market looks strong. I'm really hesitant about that. So if I haven't said it enough times uh, and, and really reinforcing it, be extremely careful on the long side. I don't think these things are going to stay up, and I think we're going to see some more downside. Um, it would be interesting to see if I'm wrong in the next few weeks and we're, you know, suddenly fix things and start 
cranking again to the high side, but I'm not so sure. I, I don't think that's going to be what's happening. So, all right, guys. Well, that's that's my time. I hope you all enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I know uh, I guess I've been getting a little bit of title of doom and gloom, but I don't care if people want to say that I'm Mr. Doom and Gloom. So be it. If I'm if I'm right, well, then, then that's what's happening. But I'm trading things to the short side. We're making money. And uh, that's all I really care about. So the, I think the trend of the market is down, I'm making money with it. And all I want to do is be on the right side of the market. And uh, if if down is doom and gloom, then so be it. So thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. Um, look forward to hearing any comments. And I'll, I'll see you next week. Take care. Hey, guys. Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.